not just my tears not just what I feel not just my prayer request are we together when Hezekiah in chapter 38 of Isaiah when Isaiah came and prophesied to him and said put your house in order you will not recover the Bible says he turned his face to the wall and said remember how I have walked diligently before you in truth and with a perfect heart and I have done that which is good in your sight he didn't say remember I am a king he needed to use a basis to say I can't die not based on this there are rules of engagement in this kingdom now let me tell you the truth as powerful as God is as powerful and mighty as God is he didn't cast sin out of man why will God seem to be so helpless when he was the one who created man he was the one who created the devil that caused man to fall if God wiped the whole the whole earth and heaven why did he not just wipe Satan away and start afresh if I were God why would I go through the labor of coming to die as creator he was not co-creator he was creator and his creator you thought he would just say sin get out of man Satan vanish dematerialize and go away I am God is still within his power is there anything too hard but even God had to submit to the modus operandi of the spirit are we together now negotiated and sent Jesus Jesus came through the womb of a virgin walked 30 years died was buried went to the grave all to save man's sin was it that hard for God when you understand that you will stop the realm of wishing and hoping that things will change God you are mighty it does not take you anything to lift me you are right but you will still remain in that situation because that is not what compels the mighty hand of God let me tell you the truth God is touched by his love but he arises based on his honor to the modus operandi of the realm of the spirit have respect unto the covenant for the dark places of the earth are a habitation of cruelty many of us come from families that have fraternized with darkness foundationally many of us right now are sitting on all kinds of demonic things that we have not engaged the word of god and spiritual understanding to bring liberty practically and yet we keep saying it does not matter and our lives keep showing that there is a legitimate ground for the continuity of certain things please listen carefully I when it has to do with oppression and the rules of the spirit it does not care whether you are a preacher it does not care whether you are sincere the Bible says the ones who will be asking questions are even the righteous that if the foundation be destroyed it is the righteous who will even be complaining hallelujah for instance in Joshua chapter 6 from verse 26 when Joshua destroyed Jericho he made a pronouncement by the Spirit listen carefully Joshua adjured them at that time saying cause be the man before the Lord that rises up and builded this city Jericho he said he shall lay the foundation in his firstborn and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it Joshua made a pronouncement that anybody that rises to rebuild Jericho again as that person lays the foundation he will lay it on the life of his firstborn and as he completes it he will complete it on the life of his lastborn first Kings chapter 16 let me show you something Ahab verse 33 now the man called Ahab the Bible says he made a grove and Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel that were before him read verse 34 please or let me just read it and you listen he said in his days did Hiel the Bethelite build Jericho is that in your Bible the Bible says he laid the foundation 
in Abiram, his firstborn. If you were the firstborn of that man, it was not your fault to be the firstborn. You just know that as soon as they started that project, a mysterious disease will come upon you and you'll be wondering, what did I do wrong? Not knowing that a speaking is looking for you. And you may go and say, but medical doctors will check you. What is wrong with the machine cannot diagnose what is wrong. Not knowing that the person who spoke has died, yet the prophetic word is still in force. Abiram started getting mysteriously sick until he died, the firstborn. And the man still refused in defiance. He set up the gates thereof. Now, the Bible does not tell us whether the man was aware of the prophecy or not. Whether he was aware or he was not aware, as far as the prophecy was concerned, whoever triggers it, let it work. Ah. Please listen, please listen, please listen, please listen. Because this is not about being sincere and insincere. What did Abiram do to die? Please talk to me. Did he kill anybody? Did he look for anybody's trouble? His only offense was he was born from a family that decided to fight the prophetic word. The Bible says when he set up the gate, his younger son, exactly what happened to the elder brother, now started happening to the younger brother. What is wrong with you again? I'm sure the mother will say, let's rush to the hospital now. According to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Joshua, the son of Nun. Hallelujah. Don't you dare think it does not matter that our forefathers buried people alive. And while those people were being buried, they said, we, we, we are dying. But the ones who will be alive will be worse than death. And they said, we don't care. When they were shouting at Jesus, crucify him, they didn't know what they were saying. And for many people, we say it does not matter. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Deuteronomy